Hi, my name is Jamie, and I'm the design lead for the Creator Expert line. And today, I have a model. I'm tempted to bring it out already, but I need to give you a little backstory first. This has got to be the most difficult model I've ever worked on in my career at LEGO, and that's six and a half years now. And uh, it's, it's, it's one of those models that we talk about and we always want to build, and every time we try, it just doesn't work out. So today, it is with extreme excitement that I present to you the creator expert, Sydney Opera House. And you might even be able to see the tingling as I show this to you because I'm just really excited uh, that this is actually finished and, uh, and ready for you guys to enjoy. Um, hopefully when you see it, uh, if you've actually seen the real Opera House, you can see many cues that, uh, that really make you get excited. And if you've just seen it on the postcards, hopefully you also still recognize it and really enjoy it for the beautiful building and piece of architecture that it is. Um, the cool thing at this scale, as opposed to uh, the previous uh, Sydney Opera House that we made, is we can actually show off a lot more details, um, which is, I think, pretty cool. Something like the stairs, uh, if you've ever gone to the Opera House, this is how you would approach it, is from the stairs. I think it's quite neat that we were able to capture the, the subtlety of the gray lines that come up from the stairs. And they actually carry through the building, and they're quite beautiful uh, if you've ever been there. And then you have these modular steps that go up uh, that can be unscrewed and, and removed. Um, and we're actually able to replicate that with the Lego elements. Uh, so something as subtle as that I think is pretty cool at this scale that you can see it. Wrapping around to the side you can see that gray beam that goes on the inside. And then you can almost imagine walking along the waterfront. This is where the ferries would go around Sydney Harbor. And so going out towards the front you have this beautiful curvature as this just greets the water and uh, the sails just really point out in a beautiful direction. You can see that we have the, uh, this, is the opera, uh, this is the opera house and this is the concert hall. And uh, the glass front is really a wonderful place to just get that beautiful panorama of the water. And these little, little elements on the front here uh, actually act as, uh, on the real building, very similar that they're just shock absorbers. So when the waves crash against the side of the building, uh, they're able to buffer it. Uh, just really, rather interesting beautiful building on so many levels. Again as you wrap around the side here we return to those beautiful steps on the way up until you get to this nice open space here and if you've been again to the real building there's an orange that's in the middle where they explain how these shells come together because that's actually the starting point of the model was the shells and trying to figure out how to build them because uh, Lego bricks are very good at being angular and going up and down but when you have to do these complex curves that's where we really struggled but we're quite confident that we were able to come up with something that is not only really beautiful to look at, but a really fun building experience for you. So now that you've seen the building, you're probably curious, so how is it built? Because it's uh, taken you so long to figure it out, it must be pretty complicated. And that's the cool part, because it's actually not that difficult. What we've done is we've tried to make it in different smaller sections and make it a little bit more manageable for you as a prepacked bag. So you have something like this and you build it together. And then you take this other part and they just snap together. And then once they're together, you would just add a couple of plates. We have a blue plate here and one here. And then a couple of tiles where we can place right here and here. And all of a sudden this becomes quite a rigid assembly. You can pick it up and handle it. And you can already see that there's a spine in here that makes it quite rigid and strong. And I actually don't want to show you too much because you'll see all the cool geometry that you'll have to figure out when you're building it. But in addition to that, now when you get to the sails, it follows a similar pattern. So when you have the concert hall here, you have the sails. And then you can see that it's also modular. So you can take these two pieces, snap them together, and then you pick up the whole assembly. And then this can fit right in the front here. And then the funny thing is the smallest part of the building the Opera House, which is actually called the Opera House, comes next, and then you would take this and you would position it in the back. And then all of a sudden with all the pieces in place, you should be able to pick it up and move it around, and it's actually quite sturdy. You shouldn't have to be concerned about this wobbling or wiggling or giving you any, any problems to move it. Because you've worked so hard to move it, excuse, so hard to build it, uh, you definitely want to be able to move it around and show it off to your friends. When looking at this set, you probably notice this beautiful dark tan color. 
and I'm happy to say that we don't let you down by giving you the best assortment of dark tan plates and bricks I think we've ever assembled in a model. You get lots of plates, lots of bricks, and lots of slopes, and lots of angle plates. So a real treat to those of you that are looking for this color. In addition to that, we've got some base plates. And I know a lot of you love base plates. So we give you the half base plate, we give you the full base plate, and we give you the extra large 48 by 48 base plate. So, so much variety there that I think a lot of you will enjoy. So in the end, you have a beautiful model. You have some wonderful building techniques, lots of great elements. And hopefully at this scale, compared to our first version, you'll really be able to see some of the gorgeous details that this building has to offer. So I really hope you can get your hands on the Sydney Opera House.